But another faction had something else in mind. They had negativity in mind, violence, hostility. Here, slow bucks, what happened on Sunday would have brought us back 20 years if we weren't dealing with a warrior like slow bucks. True warriors have the strength to react with honor. It's easy and cheap to react with violence. Here, slow bucks walked a straight line. He had the courage and the strength to come here and remind everyone that no matter how rich or powerful some might become, how popular they may be, they still are not above the law. We are going to do justice for slow bucks for what, is re what was really happening, what was really behind the assault and the theft to a guy that was alone at a celebration. He was jumped by a bunch of guys that had one thing in mind, to try to hurt his brand. They know he is the, he is the founder of Slow Bucks, the number one urban brand on the rise today. And they want to hurt that brand. And they're trying to hurt that brand. And we're going to put an end to that. And we're here. I'm a trademark attorney. I'm a copyright attorney. I fight unfair competition. There is nothing worse than competition where your competitors try to hurt you when you're alone in the public eye with a gang of people that they are with. So this is not good. Slow Bucks stands for unity, for peace, for going to kids in inner city communities and telling them that they can do it too. Earn Slow Bucks money at a steady pace. Thank you all for coming. Anybody have any questions? Um, well, what are, you, what are you exactly suing? What, 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 what lawsuit are you? We haven't brought a lawsuit yet. No. Okay. But as I mentioned, this is, this is the harm that was done here. The harm that was done here was to the brand. Everyone's heard of brand competition and brand dilution and brand tarnishment. And it doesn't take a lot to figure out that if you have a guy that's revered, like Slowbox, in the communities, if you go to communities, if you go to the leaders in the hip hop world, they look upon Slowbox with happiness and positivity. And that helps his brand. His brand is is going up, it's on the rise. That's a fact. And there are competitors, whether you like the competitors or don't like the competitors, they are Slow Bucks competitors. He sells clothing, he sells hip hop wear that is selling like crazy now. Competitors don't like that. So when you take the guy that's behind the brand and you try to embarrass him and humiliate him, that is meant for one thing only, to make you money and make him less money. It's simple. It's a simple equation. Why else would they do it? If they really didn't like this man and wanted to beat him up, they would have done it in a dark alley. Right? So this isn't about beating someone up in a dark alley. That's easy to do. This is about trying to hurt the man's brand so he doesn't skyrocket the way he is doing, on his way to be a seller of clothing like Sean John, like Rockaway. They see that. It bothers them. So they don't want to play fair. They don't want to go back and come out with a better product. Maybe go to the communities instead of preaching violence like they currently do. Preach what Mr. Slow Bucks is preaching, since that seems to be working. Since the people want that, the people don't want violence. So why not join Slow Bucks's movement instead of fighting it, which is what they're doing. So will you be taking any kind of legal action against 50 Cent or anyone from his, his group? 
uh, I didn't mention 50 Cent. It's the first time I heard his name here today. But that's a good question because you, for good reason, are probably mentioning that he may be involved. And I'm not going to disagree with your opinion. We are going to take legal action. The parties that we are going to take legal action against are still under investigation.